your stuff in. I gotta move this one out. Out of the scene. Bat safe. Bat safe. Should be Bat safe! What we have today is in today's box. In today's box? So this here is the bat safe box. And the idea is that a lipo can not only explode in here, but nothing's gonna happen. So yeah, so like I could charge this in my house, uh, at home, you know, and not have to worry about my house burning down. Because for those of you who don't know, the type of batteries that we use for our drones and airplanes, they're actually highly explosive. Like these guys. Yeah, like you poke a hole in that, not only will it blow up and smoke, but it'll shoot flames uh, yes. if you do it right. So we got these bat safe boxes, we're gonna check them out. We also have, uh, where is it? We have our standard procedure lipo bags. So this is your standard protocol lipo bag. You guys, a lot of you guys are probably familiar with these. Basically you put your bats in there and then when they blow up, they don't get flames everywhere. And that's the idea. Now these just kind of suppress them. They can only do so much and it also depends on like what type of batteries and how many you have in there. The idea with this guy is put your bat in here and not only will when it explodes, uh, it, it keeps the flames from catching stuff on fire, but also it almost like gets rid of all the smoke. A lot of you guys know if you've seen the LiPo battery blow up, there's a lot of flames, lots of smoke. And with this guy, it kind of lessens the amount of smoke. Maximum battery size. Do not charge or store more than two 6S 5,000 milliamp lithium polymer batteries on an equivalent amount of lithium batteries at one time. So That's pretty so, legit. Though. So we can explode the six cell 23,000 that we have in the thing. 100%. It's basically just like a fireproof lunchbox. Yeah. And That's the idea with right. this thing is you can actually run your charge leads down in through there. And then what he's opening up here is a little stand so you can actually put your charger on there, run your leads in, and then charge your sketchy batteries in here without having to worry about your stuff catching on fire. So as you probably have guessed, we have two of these things. There's another one right there. And the reason we have two is because we have one to use and we have one to test. And so what we are going to be doing here today is putting the bat safe box to the test, to the test. and blowing up some batteries. Now we just need two batteries that we don't use anymore. Two old Luminaire 2254 cell. This is what you used to use to chase with. That's a pretty substantial battery right there. Yeah. TJ, how are you gonna blow these bad boys up? You know, I don't know. <laughs> Let's figure that out. Ideal way would be to overcharge. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. How did you get this safely from one point to the other? Oh. Oh, you. I just, I just uh, <laughs> assembly. I, I, uh, somebody, it, it's amazing. Uh, <laughs> so, so guys, if, if you remember the episode where we were flying this beautiful transparent P38 that was all 3D printed, and I know you guys do because a huge amount of our community went out and got their first 3D printers. This gentleman here is the one responsible for it. This is, is it, did I say Steppen? Yeah, Steppen. 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 And his awesome son. New York, right? Max. Max. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that one. That's the original right there. Still one piece, believe it or not. <laughs> Still flyable. I can't believe. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, when you sent it down, you had to think, okay, something's gonna break, right? <laughs> I saw the video of the ones that you have, uh, the two of them, I think it was flying, that were all painted and looked gorgeous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It flies so, okay, it's so smooth. It fly up, yeah. On the, la on the landing, but uh, only... Is this uh, sensitive for all the way through? Yeah, the original ten, one was sensitive too. Ten. 10 millimeter up and down, it's yeah. okay. How many degrees yeah. on, on the ailerons? Uh, it, it's in the user guide, but but that much? Something like that. That's all you need. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's the favorite 3D printing? Because I just saw on your channel that you guys have a dusty crop hopper, a, a duster. Yeah, yeah, from yeah. Disney. Next plans. one, next yeah. one. It looked yeah. awesome. That looked really yeah. cool. Yeah. Chad is our 3D printer guy, but we use the Lolzbot 3D printers maybe, back there. Maybe it, it could work, but. Uh, you, you maybe you maybe will need to uh, edit some settings. Uh -huh. yeah. All right. So we're here at the testing site. We keep safety very seriously. So let's do the first one outside of the box so we can see what kind of devastation we're dealing with. Devastation. And then see how much of oh, the... Okay. 
can see how much of the, the bat box uh, suppresses. It's 39 degrees, but it feels colder than that. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set you guys down as usual. I'm going to leave you guys right here. Goodbye. Goodbye. The wind is blowing that direction, so... Yeah. Woo! It's cold! It is. Yeah, it is. Blah, 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 blah. Test was successful. Wow. As you can see, that's a great way to, that a house fire is started, right? Like that. Why you always charge outside on concrete uh, yeah. you don't want to charge inside unless maybe potentially if you have the yeah, bat that's... safe we're gonna put this fire out and now pillows. we got to yeah, test the bat safe oh that was good <laughs> that was good <laughs> I was like whoa <laughs> you having a tough time in the woods starting your campfire there we go so now the bat safe test will bat commence test. so based on that explosion alone if the bat safe uh, contains that. That's that's worth it. I, how, much, how much is it? I'm not sure. I don't know how much it is, but I'll put the price right here, and I'll let you guys be the judge of whether or not it's worth the, the safety of your home and your belongings catching on fire from and your, your hobby battery. All right, we're gonna get the next battery set up, and we're gonna do a test. Uh, I think we're gonna do a test with the bat safe and a lipo bag, because a lot of you guys probably use lipo bags. Yep. Um, just to give you an idea. Now, obviously, this is like worst case scenario. These things don't just spontaneously combust like that. You have to be very bad to the battery <laughs> for, it to, for this to happen. Just, yeah. just so some details are known, we're, we're charging a lipo as a lead acid, so we're putting 20 amps. <laughs> into a 16.4 volt max battery. That one reached 23 volts before it exploded like that. It's a, it's a four cell. Yeah, four cell, so. That was fun. Don't do it at home. Look at this thing. Was spring loaded. Unbelievable, dude. What a, look at the fit, like. It's like the Much bigger phone than the P38. 70 amp ESC? Yeah. It's all Velcroed in there, bro. Awesome. This is a work of art. I need to start. Even down to the hatch, it's not even a That's a serious fit. motor. Yeah, dude, that's it. It's beefy, dude. It's beefy. It's brother, it's so great to meet you in person. <laughs> Me too. I'm sorry, it was just such a short I, time. I fa thank you very much for the... P38 oh, video. It, help, it helps us very much. Well, we, wanna... we, we feel it on. on uh... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well that's, that's awesome. Yeah, it's very well deserved. And also, uh, I know the community loves making things. So you gave them a whole other material, a whole other process to learn. Mm -hmm. So you know that really helped them out a lot too. Yeah, yeah that's, there's people that went from being passionate about building with foam to <laughs> buying 3D printers, and now mm -hmm. everything's getting 3D printed. And yeah, it's, yeah. it's so cool. We are waiting for the next material. This PLA, this PLA is a little bit uh, fragile. Okay. Fragile. Very brittle, okay. yeah. Uh, I hope somebody invented it. Yeah. <laughs> some, yeah. Some, yeah. 3D printed uh, balsa. Some future material. <laughs> we'll do everything we can to make sure we give it as much of a. We'll see. It, 
no, no problem if you... <laughs> <laughs> he knows as well. And, and this is, uh, this will work also with, with this setup. Okay. 15, proper, eight. If, if you have problem with it. This is 15, 7, 3 by 8. Uh, 6S, right? Yeah, 6S. There is a CG point. Okay. So Can't thank you enough. It's going to be a, uh, a pleasure to put it in the air. And, uh, I, I thank you for the video. It's, Our pleasure. it's for me more important than, than for you, I guess. We'll, we'll have some fun with it and let people, people get, get fascinated, that's for We're sure. We're going to do another video, right? Yes, we are. Now we are exactly. working on Corsair okay. in, in the same, same scale, so it's bigger. Yeah, I saw the picture you posted. Yeah, big, that's, that's how much bigger it was than a Spitfire. And, and with, with fold, fold, flaps, foldable, foldable wings. Oh, foldable wings. Oh, foldable wings. Oh, nice. Oh, that's crazy. But not, not electronically, only in reverse. How many people do you think have built your 3D planes? Uh, yes, about 6,000 users. Very good. Wow. So far. That's crazy. When you think about, like, you know, this material is fairly new and what you've done with it and how far you've taken it so quickly, I mean, to get this scale and build this scale, so to make something out of balsa that, that is this scale, it's almost impossible. What you've done with the detailing on this is, is beautiful. I guess you must be crazy or cool <laughs> to make it. <laughs> yeah. well, That's not a bad thing. Like yeah. <laughs> well, you, Being crazy is not bad. <laughs> you've opened up a door and the, and the amount of detail you put in this and stuff, it's uh, not just a fun scale. It's, it's already 3 printed. Also. Oh, the wheels are? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Oh my awesome. gosh. No way. It's soft too. That's it. That it's for one and a half month. Oh my god. Well, we're gonna have a lot of fun putting this together. Safe travels, my friend. I'm gonna give you a hug. Yeah. If you have any trouble with your rental car, let me know. We have to help us so much, man. I'm glad that we caught you, even though it was short. Sorry we were so late. Safe travels, dude. There we go. Yeah! All right, so now battery <laughs> is inside the bat safe. That's exactly what that's for. So our connector for our charger is contained. Put the battery in, shut the, the door. Bat safe. Okay. We will set and it here. Crank it to 11. Okay. Set you guys up for success. There it goes. Oh, God. You can hear it. Wow, that was amazing. The charger died. That was wow. actually a lot less smoke. Wow. Well, it's still smoking. I, I don't want that in my house. <laughs> <laughs> but that is better than the one yeah. that. Yeah, yeah I mean, because there's yeah. nothing on fire. The other one would kill you almost immediately. This one will just kill you in like 20 would, years when you have cancer. Right. Yeah, well, it would just fill your house up with smoke and it would be a bad day, but. It, all right, test complete. So the bat safe box did a pretty good. A little bit anticlimactic, but that was kind of the point. Hold on, you gotta push it down a little I'm sorry, bit. Sorry, hold on. Step on it. All right. Oh, there's those leads. Whoa. Whoa. So this is what happened in here. Me. So the conclusion on the bat safe is we literally destroyed the battery as hard as you could destroy it and it kept everything contained except for the smoke. Nothing would have caught on fire. Nothing. Absolutely zero. I think this bat safe did like a 14 and a half out of 10. <laughs> yeah, dude. Like fantastic. The smoke, it was a lot less smoke and zero flameage. Zero flameage, which is always good. And make it for a nice little warmer. It was impressive. I didn't really see any smoke coming out of the, the ports. I just seen it coming out where we had our battery lead going through. But another thing. Because if you look, the battery lead is still fine. fine. I think that's because of Yeah, and it was because it was inside the, the, rubber, the rubber thing. Rubber but rubber and close. Dude, but yeah, I mean, if you don't already have something like this and you charge inside and away from your batteries, this is pretty awesome. Yeah. I want to I test with the bag now. Yeah. And I, I believe that this uh, this bat safe box was actually kickstarted. And it's not the only option for battery safety. There's a lot of stuff. Maybe we'll put some links below for both the bat safe and some of the other options that are out there. We basically wanted to do this so you guys don't have to. We wanted to kind of uh, help make people aware of these batteries that they're carrying around. They do actually carry quite a bit of energy and if not used properly, they can result in catastrophic. I think we're gonna blow one up in a normal lipo bag now to see what that does. All right, so now we have the lipo bag, your traditional hobby lipo bag. We're gonna compare the three. No protection, lipo bag protection, and the bat safe protection. Yeah. See which one is the 
safest. So did you, did you learn anything about blowing up batteries today? <laughs> it's actually harder than it looks. <laughs> like it's, it's, it's very, very hard compared to how people would lead you to believe. But with that said, if you have a perfect storm of, you know, just a bad battery, it, it can happen easily. It can happen. Actually, it has happened to me. Yeah. It's <laughs> happened to me in my car once and in my parents' basement. It happened to us here two weeks ago. <laughs> we've had we've had multiple shot fires. So it's 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 nothing to uh, not take seriously. You definitely want to take your batteries seriously. Dude, there it is. <laughs> here it goes. Oh dang. Oh boy. It's breathing. Not bad though for the yeah. lipo bag. It definitely kept the flames from going crazy. Well, Let's see what happens here. Yeah, I was going to say, it's still cooking. Literally. Obviously the smoke's gonna go crazy and it's gonna be really hot from looking at the outside of it. So a fire could still be possible, but I mean it-, it uh, There's no flame so far. Dude, it, it contains it. It smells very bad. If you have LiPo bags, do not charge your batteries on anything flammable. <laughs> but I mean, really it's- It, it did a good job. Yeah, it did a really good job for the, the cost. Yep. You know, what it is. And the ease, it's very convenient. Yeah. So it, it, both are them, good options. Throw, throw them on a slab of concrete. I take the, if I'm charging inside though, I'd do a bat safe. Yeah. Because yeah. that would ruin your carpet for sure. <laughs> <laughs> that well, would it, for sure ruin Yeah, your if carpet. you're not watching it, it'll probably, depending on how hot that bag got, I'm gonna say if it melted the outside of the bag like that, it would've, it would've caught something on fire. Yeah, where'd you charge your batteries, man? I would charge my batteries in my bedroom underneath my bed. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. So we're gonna get uh, we're gonna get this mess cleaned up that we made. Yes. But it was some interesting science that we did, and the reason we did it is so you guys don't have to. But we wanted to shed a little bit more light out these batteries and how much energy they actually carry because it's actually like pretty impressive. Now to have a situation like this, yes, you do need a series of unfortunate events, but that's not to say that it's impossible. Um, this very well could happen to you. It has happened to me. It has happened to us at the shop. Um, so something to keep in mind. Let go with a lipo bag. Go with a bat safe box. There's all kinds of really interesting options out there to keep your batteries safe but uh, just don't take them for granted whatever whatever you use to charge your batteries just know how it works know the right way to use it yeah yep. the main Education. thing and th that's how we actually blew the batteries up is by charging them incorrectly yep. yes and that's the that's what happened to me when I when <laughs> my battery blew up as I charged it incorrectly if you don't know what you're doing get help do some research make sure you're charging them on the right settings check out in the forums we yeah got cool everybody got everybody got information for you so anyways it's freezing we're gonna get cleaned up go yep. back in the shops Thanks, amen see what's going box. on see ya rocked it Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>